Jumping and recording. The part of landing live.
don't know whether you heard them or not, but they did say the engine had ignited.
Roger, we got you. We're going at alarm. Roger, 2.30. Six plus two five, throttle down. Six plus two five, throttle down. Roger, copy. Six plus two five. We're still going altitude twenty seven thousand feet. Same alarm, and it appears to come up when we have a sixteen sixty eight up. Roger, copy. Eagle, Houston, we'll monitor your Delta A. Delta H is looking good now. Roger, Delta H is looking good to us. Ah, Delta H is on time. Roger, Delta H is on time. Better than the simulator. Right. Altitude now 21,000 feet, still looking very good. Velocity down now to 1,200 feet per second. You're looking great, Dave. Uh, okay, I'm still on flu, uh, so we may tend to lose as we gradually pitch over. Let me try auto again now, see what happens. Roger. Okay, looks like it's home. Roger, we got good data. Seven minutes, 30 seconds into the burn. Altitude, 16,300 feet. Eagle, Houston, it's descent to fuel to monitor, over. Altitude. Altitude, 13,005. Velocity 9,100 feet per second. Made it, uh, switch over time, please, you. Roger, stand by. You're looking great at eight minutes. Yeah, correction on that velocity. Now reading 760 feet per second. It's the P-64. Roger. Roger. Eagle, Houston, it's a descent to fuel. Final says we're go. Altitude 9,200 feet. 830, you're looking great. Descent rate 129 feet per second. We copy. Eagle, you're looking great. Coming up nine minutes. We're now in the approach phase. Everything looking good. Altitude 5,200 feet. Altitude 4200. Roger, copy. Altitude 4200. Houston, you're a go for landing. Over. I don't understand. Go for landing. 3,000 feet. 2,000 feet. Over one. 12 Roger. 12 alarm. We're go. Same high. We're go. 2,000 feet. 2,000 feet. Into the ag. 47 degrees. Roger. 1,600. 
at the Santa Rosa. Fifty down at two and a half. Nineteen forward. Altitude velocity right. Eight and a half down. Two twenty feet. Fifteen forward. Driving forward, coming down nicely. Two hundred feet. Four and a half down. Five and a half down. Six and a half down. Five and a half down. Nine forward. Good. And twenty feet. Hundred feet. Three and a half down. Nine forward. Five percent. Seventy five. Eight seventy five feet. That's looking good. Down a half. Six forward. 60 seconds. Right on. Down two and a half. Forward. Forward. Good. 30 feet down, two and a half. Picking up some dust. 30 feet, two and a half down. Right shadow. Four forward. Four forward, drift into the right a little. Right. Down a half. 30 seconds. Forward, just. Right. Okay, engine stop. APA at a descent. Out control, both auto descent engine command override off. Engine arm off. 413 is in. We copy you down, Eagle. Houston, uh, Tranquility Base here. The Eagle has landed. Roger, Twain. Tranquility, we copy you on the ground. You got a bunch of guys about to turn blue. We're breathing again. Thanks a lot. Thank you. You're looking good here. Okay, we're going to be busy for a minute. I can't on. Take care of the I'll get this back to bed. Okay, it looks like we're betting the arc of the Roger, Eagle, and you are safe for T1. Over. Eagle, you are safe for T1. I just... And we see you safe for T1. Roger, and we see you venting the ox. I just... Roger, we have it. Yes, sir, Columbia, Roger, we ring you five by Columbia. He has landed Tranquility Base. Eagle is at Tranquility, over. Yeah, I heard the whole thing. Buck, good show. Fantastic. Off reset. The next major stay, no stay, will be for the T2 event. That is at... Uh, 21 minutes, 26 seconds after initiation of powered descent. Come here, went up telemetry command reset to uh, require on the high gain. Copy out. Official time for that touchdown of 102 hours, 45 minutes, 42 seconds, and we will update that. Roger, 
Eagle Houston, uh, you loaded R2 wrong. We want 10254. Horizontal, uh, 55, 15, decimal 2. That's affirmative. We're now less than four minutes from our next stay, no stay. The next uh, stay will be for one complete revolution of the command module. in the way of a visual description of the landing area from the crew until after we've gotten through these critical stay-no-stay no stay periods and have gotten the stay to, uh, to remain on the lunar surface for at least one command and service module revolution. Spacecraft systems continue to look very good to us here on the ground. Tranquility Base, Houston, we ex recommend you exit T-12, over. Man, don't apologize. Roger, we copy. It was beautiful from here. Tranquility, yeah, over. Magnificent job. Well, you see why now it took a little longer than planned. Now, we'll get to the details of, uh, of what's around here, but it looks like a collection of just about every variety of uh, shape, angularity, granularity, but every variety of rock you could uh, find. The color is, uh, well, it varies pretty much depending on uh, how you're looking relative to the... Uh, zero phase point. Uh, there doesn't appear to be too much of a general color at all. However, it looks as though some of the uh, rock boulders, of which there are quite a few in the uh, near area, uh, looks as though they're going to have uh, some interesting colors to them. Over. Roger, copy. Sounds good to us, uh, Tranquility. Uh, we'll let you press on through the uh, simulated countdown, and uh, we'll talk to you later. Over. 
difficult to estimate, but it might be uh, a half a mile or uh, a mile. Roger, tran Tranquility, we copy, over. Sounds like it looks a lot better than it did yesterday at that very low sun angle. It looks rough as a cob, then. Well, it really was rough, Mike, uh, over the, uh, the targeted landing area. It was uh, extremely rough, cratered, and uh, large numbers of rocks that were probably some, uh, many larger than five or ten feet in size. And that is four miles south. This is based on a targeted uh, landing site, over. Hey, Roger, understand, based on a targeted landing site, uh, T1-104-3218, T2-104-3728, and uh, four miles south. Roger. Do you have any idea whether they landed left or right of center line? Just, just a little bit long. Is that all we know? Apparently, that's about all we can tell. Over. Okay, thank you. This is timer is now reached. 902 34 47 and static. Roger, copy. Your mission timer is now static. Get the uh, second of time. 902-3447. Roger, copy, Tranquility. That gravity aligned looks a good, uh, we see you recycling. Oh, no, I was trying to get time, uh, 1665 out, uh, and uh, somehow it proceeded on to the uh, 622 before I could do a uh, burp 32 enter. Uh, I want to log a time here, and then I'd like to know whether you want me to proceed on the torquing angles or to uh, uh, go back and uh, re-enter again before torquing over. Right, but stand by. Roger, I concur with that. And Roger, the tranquility. For the emission timer, two suggestions. Check, check the circuit breaker, pen 11. Also, uh, reset and attempt to start. That nine in the first uh, digit might have something to do with it, over. Okay, uh, we've tried both of those. The circuit breaker is in. When I reset uh, the, uh, put it in reset, I get 9020440. When I release it, now I get 9020449. I'm going to cycle uh, the uh, circuit breaker. Roger. I cycled the circuit breaker and got all nine. And uh, it will not now reset from all nine. Roger. Orbit at this sun angle, uh, about 10 degrees uh, sun angle or that nature, it's uh, pretty much without color. It's uh, gray and uh, it's uh, very white, uh, chalky gray as you look uh, into the zero phase line, and uh, it's uh, uh, considerably darker gray, uh, more like a ash ashen gray as you look out 90 degrees to the sun. The uh, some of the surface uh, rocks in close here that have been uh, fractured or. Uh, disturbed by the uh, rocket engine plume are uh, coated uh, with this uh, light uh, gray on the outside but where they've been broken they display a uh, dark very dark gray interior and uh, it looks like uh, it could be country of Roger Tranquility, we see the now 93. Perp 34. Roger, I assume you wanted it. Roger. Okay, uh, 
not going out. This missing timer you heard them discussing is, in um, simple terms, simply a clock. Quality, Houston, you can open both fuel and oxygen now. Over. That started when they lifted off from uh, Cape okay. Kennedy, and by which they timed uh, various Houston, functions. Houston, Houston, standing by for a go on uh, Ag to Pink to Line and uh, a lunar line. Over. Stand by. And it is offering them some problem, and as they said at uh, Mission Control, they're researching the problem now, and we'll get back to them with what they do about the clock. You are a go for the Ag to Pink to Line and then the lunar line. Over. And what they're doing here now, through all these uh, transmissions, is... Uh, checking everything and getting the um, eagle ready to take off again should that need arise that is the first priority the first thing they do is get themselves in condition to take take off uh, so 30 psi in the fuel and 30 in the oxidizer roger we're reading uh, somewhat different than that stand by the uh, fuel temperature is reading uh, uh, 64, and uh, in the defense and the oxidizer, at defense two, and the oxidizer is off scale low. Defense one is showing uh, 61 in the fuel and 65 in the oxidizer. Roger, stand by. Houston, please take the fuel vent switch and hold it open. Over. Okay. We're holding it open. Indicating about 24 psi on board. Roger. I read you last clear, and I read both the comments that said, I wonder if we're triggering all the time, and I don't think so. Prior to that, it was relatively quiet. Over. Uh, okay, we're hearing a little bit of background noise, and uh, I just wanted to make sure that we weren't uh, continually cheated. It don't sound like it. Columbia's temperature 70 degrees Fahrenheit, Eagle's temperature 61 degrees Fahrenheit. Roger, our 
Tom just seemed to clear up a uh, good bit. Did uh, SM just go over the hill? Uh, negative. He's been uh, over the hill here for a minute or so. Uh, correction, he should be uh, losing okay. contact with you in about uh, a yeah. minute. Uh,
cryohydrogen tank number one and LOS time this orbit is one 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 nine er three one. Correction, make that for uh, the next orbit. You already have the AOS LOS for this orbit. This is now for 16 and a half minutes. Columbia, this is Houston. We show you near the high gain antenna scan limit. When you lose lock on us, we request Omni Delta. Omni Delta when you lose lock over Delta. Delta when you lose. Transmission. Transmission up to Collins. Let me go to that mic who went up a little bit. Okay, my window, sir. We've got electric defoggers on the window. Two, four, two, four, three. Uh, 
200 million people are turning. Okay, would you verify the position? Yes, that's uh, right. The uh, opening I ought to have on the camera. Is that right? That's right, sir. Now they've turned it right. Now we can see him moving down. Let's just enjoy this. Okay, Neil, we can see you coming down the ladder now. Okay, I just checked uh, getting back up to that first step. Uh, it's uh, not even collapsed too far, but uh, it's adequate to get back up. Roger, we can't see Pretty good little jump. on the move. Uh, Buzz, this is Houston. F2, one one sixtieth second for shadow photography on the sequence camera. Okay. I'm uh, at the foot of the ladder. The lamb foot pads are only uh, uh, depressed in the surface about uh, one or two inches. Uh, although the surface appears to be uh, very, very fine-grained as you get close to it. It's almost like a powder. Now, man, uh, it's very fine. Now, I'm going to step off the limb now. One small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. I think he said one small step for man, but one giant leap for man. I'm not certain I got all that right. The uh, surface is fine and powdery. I can pick it up loosely with my toe, it does adhere to, in fine layers uh, like uh, powdered charcoal to the, uh, to the skull and, and sides of my boot. I only go in a uh, small fraction of an inch, maybe an eighth of an inch, but I can see the footprints of my uh, boots and the treads in the fine Sandy particles. Yeah, this is Houston. We're copying. Uh, there seems to be no difficulty in moving around as, as we suspected. Uh, it's even perhaps easier than the simulations of 1.6G that uh, we performed uh, in various simulations on the ground. Absolutely no trouble to uh, walk around. Okay, the uh, Ethan engine did not leave a crater of any size. It's, uh, has about one foot clearance on the ground. We're uh, essentially on a very level place here. Uh, I can see uh, some evidence of, uh, of rays emanating from the descent engine, but uh, very insignificant amount.
unofficial time on the first step, 109-2420. Surgeon says that camera installed on the ICU bracket. The surgeon says the crew is doing well. Data is good. Crew is doing well. And I'm still in the LEC on the secondary stretch. as time expended now. some kind of depression. The horizon is usually about two miles away. One minute. Up. Apple. He moved out of camera range to get that because they wanted to get a sample as far as they could.
surface, but it appears to be uh, uh, very cohesive uh, uh, material of the, of the same sort. I'll try to get a rock in here. Trouble. Again, the reason he moved away was they wanted to get as far as they could away from where the uh, descent engine put out its plume and uh, disturbed the surface of the moon. And they want to get as far as possible. It has a stark beauty all its own. It's uh, like much of the high desert of uh, Arizona. It's just a gorgeous uh, piece of architecture. Uh, it's a lot of the uh, rock samples out here, the hard rock samples, have what appear to be vesicles in the surface. Mm -hmm. Also, I'm looking at one now that appears to have some sort of phenocrits. Houston, Roger out.